Hi everyone, this is Dan, and I have a question for you. How many of you ever imagined what it would be like to be in the American Revolutionary War? Well, if you have, you should read this book. This is called George Washington Socks, and it's by Elvira Woodruff. This book is about five kids who go on an adventure due to some strange, mysterious rowboat in Lake LeVar which is where they are all spending the night due to their adventure club where they are discussing historical events. This weird boat really catches their eyes and seems to almost lure each and every one of the kids into it. The group consists of Matt, who is the president of the group. He created the group. Quentin, Hooter, Tony, his three best friends, and Matt's little sister, Katie. Now, they are all having a good time, and then all of a sudden this boat comes. And there's a, there's a moon. And all of a sudden, something happens to Katie. And I'm going to read a little bit of that to you right now. Katie, no! Matt cried out, but it was no use. His little sister was climbing into the boat. Her legs were so short that she was having a hard time hoisting herself over the side. Katie, stop! Get away from it! Matt yelled frantically, but still Katie paid no attention. When he first laid eyes on the empty boat floating in the moonlight, Matt was filled with a sense of wonder mixed with fear. The very emptiness of the boat seemed to be beckoning to him to come and fill it. None of the boys could speak at first. They were overcome with a strange longing to board the lonely craft. Standing on the incline, still at a distance from the boat, Matt also felt a terror rising within him. There was something very wrong with this vessel. Something dangerous and powerful. A strange force seemed to be present. Matt knew deep down that they would run from this thing, run as far away as they could. But the sight of his sister caught in this mysterious force sent him running straight for it instead. Hooter, Tony, and Q had the same mixed feelings, but when Matt took off to rescue Katie, they didn't hesitate to join him. They were all yelling at Katie to get away from the boat when they suddenly came to within a few feet of him. Matt was just ahead of them, and so he was the first to come under the boat's spell. It was the same desire to board the boat that he'd felt when he first saw it. Only now the desire had become overwhelming. All of his fear and mistrust were suddenly gone. The tauntness left his face. The lines of his, on his forehead disappeared as Matt began to smile. He reached out for Katie and lifted her into the boat. Then he climbed in himself. Q and Tony did the same. Hooter gave the boat a shove and jumped in after them. Smiling, as if in a trance, Matt reached for an oar. Q reached for the other one, and they began rowing toward the center of the lake, the smiles never leaving their faces. When a large cloud drifted across the moon, the old rowboat and its smiling crew were suddenly engulfed in a thick, velvety darkness. An iridescent mist began to slowly swirl around and about them as they sat motionless. Q and Matt were on one seat, and Tony and Hooter on the other, while Katie kneeling on the floor between them. A low, whistling sound seemed to circle them as the boat began to tremble, and the mist wrapped around them like a cocoon. When the three-quartered moon finally returned from being up behind a cloud, the lake stretched out smooth as glass beneath it. The old rowboat and her adventurous crew were gone, vanished. It was as if the lake had swallowed them up. The only evidence that remained of the mysterious craft and her spellbound sailors were the silvery ripples that fanned out from the lake's center. As the wind picked up, it blew across the sparkling surface, smoothing out the uneven choppiness of their departure. All that remained was the gentlest hint of a wave. And so... 
the beginning of these five kids adventure was just about to begin this is a great book it has great knowledge and it does have facts about what happened during the Battle of Trenton and George Washington crossing the Delaware it gives you a great perspective of what the what the um, the armies went through during the war I would recommend it specifically to fourth graders because they learn about the American Revolution during fourth grade so it's a great way for them to connect to the book and I would also recommend it to anybody who loves history because it has always been exciting for me to learn about different wars and this book is a great adventure book and it gives you a lot of cool information about George Washington and the Battle of Trenton I suggest everybody picking it up it's a great read I hope you enjoy it